So yeah, you wear kilts and you watch people uh, lift a caber that looks like a telephone pole and you celebrate your Scottish heritage. You are, uh, I mean, you're the man for the Glasgow Highland Games. You're the president. Bob Harrison is joining us. Thanks for being here. Oh, it's wonderful to be here. I love it. We're at, we should tell them where we are. We're in Glasgow, Kentucky. The show is Coffee Near Me. I'm Barbara Deeb. A special thanks to Cole and his family for welcoming us here at Jitter Cafe. And like I say, we are, we, the fact that Glasgow has a Highlands game is just so, it's symbiotic. I mean, it just has to be that way, doesn't it? Uh, it, it certainly should be, and when we started the games out, a number of us all got together in the uh, Glasgow area, Glasgow, Scottsdale. How long ago was that? That was in 84. Wow. And uh, we, first thing we did was we went to Frankfort and we got the state to do a calculation for us of how many Scots and Irish folk of that accent, of that heritage, were in the general Barron County, Glasgow, Allen County area. And they came back, they did the counties of Monroe, Metcalf, uh, Barron, Allen, and Warren. And suffice and it to say, it was a lot. It and was, it more it was than about 65%. Wow. Um, okay, so that having been said, you knew then that you had this cache of people who maybe would respond to the Glasgow Highlands. Exactly. Games. But since 1984, it has grown so much. You told me last year you had three world records set at the 2017 we sure Games. We sure oh did. We sure did. Oh my gosh. And it was the caber, the thing that we were joking about. It really does. It looks like a telephone pole, right? And boom. It is. And, and why the Scots invented the caber was because back in the 1200s when they were fighting the English, uh, the only way that they could get into the English forts, which were much better than the Scots had, was to cut down a tree and then throw it so that it would be up on the stockade or whatever it was that, mm -hmm. that the mm -hmm. English had and they could go up the caper and then on into the castle area. Oh my gosh, who knew that? But this year, when this world record, you said it was a woman who set the it world It was record? Th three women set world records. We had, the, we had the United States female championship at Glasgow this year. And the whoever won that went to represent the for the United States, went to represent the United States in the female Category. world games uh, before the Queen, and that's always the second Saturday of September. Who knew? Before the Queen? So they got to... Yes, the Queen yeah. always, it's on her, it's on her estate uh, where it's held, and both the men and the women uh, compete uh, before the Queen and the world champion is crowned. Now, you know, you um, you have a, a kilt or you have a plaid or you have a tartan. I'm gonna say plaid for lack of a better word. Someone may not know what a tartan is, but each family has one of those. Yes. You know yours, right? Oh yes, McKenzie. You're a McKenzie. And so on the day, if you come to the Glasgow Highland Games, you will see lots of people wearing kilts. Oh, oh, definitely. And, and I wore a kilt as a child. You did? Yes. And you grew up where? Uh, Northern Maine Mountains. And you wore a kilt as a child? Yeah, at, at, at many, at many times. Wow. My, my grandfather, McKenzie, uh, he died when he was 87. And as a young boy, from the time I was three until I was six when he passed, he would always t take the sheep from near the barn in the corral out to a very nice valley that we had. And he would, he was a piper, and he would pipe them out. And then in the evening, we'd pipe them back in because of all of the wolves that were in, in Canadian right. lakes in northern Maine mountains. Uh, they were much safer in the evening, even though we had a sheepdog, and by the barn and in the corral. I love that story. So that's a Mackenzie is your...
Tartan. So you grew up with a kilt, and I mean, so others, it, it was normal for you, right? It wasn't oh, very like normal. they dumped you into a public school wearing a kilt. And no, you were, no, 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 very normal. It was very normal. And so attending the Glasgow Highland Games, you would see a lot of people in kilts. You would see these caber tosses. You would see a Kaylee, and you would hear music, beautiful music, right? Yes, and the, the Kaylee uh, is the Celtic word for concert. Uh, basically outdoor concert primarily and uh, we, we the Glasgow Highland Games each year we try to bring the best musicians and bands that we can find any place in the world this year we had the uh, tremendous band the Tannehill Weavers from Scotland uh, here for all three days what does you know if, if how, what's the greatest attendance you've had because you've been doing this since 1984 was there one year that sort of exploded over the others? Uh, we are generally consistent. Uh, we ha Each year we grow a little bit more, but we are generally consistent. Uh, Ballpark, because, how many people? Oh, I, quite honestly. You want to just uh, say it's lots? In the, <laughs> yeah, I, it's in the neighborhood. Uh, we will go for given games from 10 to 15,000. That's 10 to 15,000, and it's the first weekend in June. Yeah. It's always the weekend after Memorial Day, so yeah. some years we start in May, but it's always the weekend after Memorial Day. Uh, there were a number of us who had been in the armed forces on the original group that started the games, and we did not in any way want to interfere with any Aww. of the Memorial Day activities, so we chose the week after Memorial Day. I love that. So um, we're quickly running out of time, but if someone has never been to the Glasgow Highland Games in Glasgow, Kentucky, it's coming up in June. What, what would you, why would you tell them to come, even if they have no heritage related to that at all? Because it's exciting. This is real competition. We have the best people in the world competing in the Scottish athletics, both male and female. This coming year, we are probably going to have the best in Canada compete with the best in the United States oh. uh, in the Scottish Athletics. The music is wonderful. We have everything from pipe bands that are excellent pipe bands. And we're talking authentic, yes. Yes, uh, to uh, a lot of entertainment like the Tannehill Weavers and we generally will bring in about four other bands. We have Lots the tremendous soloist Colin Grant Adams who's probably the best Scottish soloist in the in the in the United States in plus the United in States. in the world probably wow listen if someone wants more information you've probably got that somewhere don't you I, I do we have we have a building in Glasgow Kentucky that is the home of the Glasgow Highland Games the uh, information is 270 651 3141. Yeah, I got you there. We did. Bob Harrison, the president of the Glasgow Highland Games. Get your cup because I'm going to toast you. You've been watching Coffee Near Me, and we're coming to you from Glasgow, Kentucky, here at Jitter Cafe. Thanks to Cole, and thank you for joining us. And Good luck. thank you. And it's always nice to be with the folks that you work for at, at Western Kentucky University. Thank and you. There you go. There you go. Thank you for your continued oh, support. Sure, definitely.